What's up, DC? I'm Lexi. And I'm Elijah. It's Wednesday, January 11th, and today is National Milk Day. Here's the news. Attention juniors, if you applied for the Kennergy Washington Youth Tour, the essay is due on January 15th. Be sure to get those completed ASAP. Same as powers and guidance for more info. Attention students, sometime this week you will see a folder in your Google Drive account that is saved work from your P drive. Anytime you save anything to the P drive, it will be synced to the Google Drive as well. Attention young Democrat members, you will be having a meeting this Friday after school in room 212. Attention students, join us in the DC Media Center on Monday, January 30th during CCR for Maker Monday to learn how to do string art. Participants will look for their own designs, print their own patterns, hammer their own nails, and use string to bring the design alive. All supplies will be provided. If more time is needed to finish, students may come to DC Makerspace on Friday, February 3rd, Monday, February 6th, and Friday, February 10th. These would make a great Valentine's Day present for that someone special or awesome bedroom decor. Participation is limited to the first 24 students who register. Watch your DCPS email for a registration link. And now, your weather for this week. Hi, I'm Kelsey, and this is this week's weather forecast. Today, Wednesday, there's a high of 64, 60% chance of rain. It's supposed to rain for the rest of this week, Thursday and Friday. Friday is starting the freezing rain, 80% chance, and it's going to get colder. But then Sunday it's going to warm up, still be cloudy, and with a high of 50. Back to your news. Attention students, are you starting to think about getting a summer job? There are many jobs out there that require you to have a CPR certification, and DCHS is offering CPR certification for free. All you have to do is pay the fee for your certification card, only $8. And if the $8 is an issue for you, just let us know. Classes start on January 19th after school in the Media Center from 4 to 7 p.m. Snacks will be provided, but sign-ups are on first-come, first-served basis, so be sure to sign up in the guidance office and pay your $8. See Ms. Kimberl in guidance if you have any questions. Attention students, did you know that DCHS students have the power to help eliminate the global vision care crisis simply by recycling their used eyeglasses? After your family's next visit to the eye doctor, please send any old eyeglasses to, uh, to the guidance office. There will be a container where you can drop off your donation. The glasses will be donated to Katie Bouchard's Eye Foundation Project. DCHS has helped Katie spread the gift of sight to over 3,000 people around the world last year. Attention students, mark your calendar. Kentucky Wesleyan College is holding a DCPS day at their doubleheader basketball game on Saturday, January 21st. All DCPS students will get in free to cheer the, D the KWC Panthers on. The women's game starts at 1 p.m., followed by the men's game. Three of our advocate groups will be recognized during media timeouts, Mr. Dunn's, Ms. Gucha's, and Ms. Grimsley's. Next week, we'll have more information on how to get your free ticket for this fun event. Attention students, the Davis County Public Library will be hosting two new teen programs in January. One of these is the bi-monthly teen reads. Book lovers ages 13 to 18 are welcome to attend and discuss their favorite books. There are no assigned readings. On Friday, January 13th from 4 to 6 p.m., the library will be holding the first meeting of another bi-monthly teen program, TWP, the Teen Writing Program. TWP is an informal writing workshop where teens can come to get their feedback and share their writing with other teens. Both of these programs were designed and planned by members of DCPL's Teen Advisory Board, and the programs themselves will be led by teens. Here's what's going on today at DC. We are starting Literacy Wednesdays in CCR. That's all your news for today, DC. Stay classy.